Thanks for checking out another episode of FixMyRecipe.com. I'm Chef Billy Parisi, and our next fix is for a recipe from Barbara Bayer of Cleveland, Ohio. She sent us in a recipe for moose. Thanks for writing us in because I love to eat moose. Don't worry, we're going to take care of this for you. Contrary to popular belief, chocolate mousse is not held together by gelatin. However, it is held together by meringue and heavy whipped cream. First thing we're going to do is add our water and our chocolate pistoles in a saucepan and put it on low heat. Barbara, this is where you went wrong. We need to make a meringue first. So what we're going to do is add in our four and a half ounces of egg whites and our two ounces of sugar and whip it together till it forms very stiff peaks. As you can see, our meringue is very firm. Notice kind of little spikes sticking up. Very stiff peaks. While our chocolate is still melting, we're gonna simply transfer our meringue to another bowl, put it in the fridge, and then we're gonna whip our heavy cream. Let's keep multitasking. Our chocolate is still melting, our meringue is done. Now let's make a heavy cream till about medium peaks or slightly firm. All right, our whipped cream is the exact consistency that we want it. It is also going to be sort of an additive in congealing our mousse as well as add a little bit more flavor. Don't forget, fat equals flavor. Just like the meringue, we are also going to transfer this to another bowl and hit it in the fridge. As you can see, our chocolate is nice and melted and it's combined with our water. What we're going to do now is hit it with some egg yolks, whisk it in on low heat. This too is going to make sure our mousse stays nice and thick. As you can see, the egg yolks have already started to help thicken up our chocolate. All right, Barb, our chocolate and our egg yolks are completely combined. Now here's the fun part. We need to add in one ounce of liqueur. Your choice, amaretto, whatever you want to do. I like Frangelico, so I'm going to put that in there. Our next step is to transfer this to another bowl and cool it completely. It has to be very cold for us to fold in our meringue and whipped cream. Okay, our chocolate's nice and cool. Our meringue and heavy cream is also nice and cool. All we want to do is simply fold in our ingredients, and I'm probably going to take a bath in this. I absolutely love it. I know it seems like the egg whites are going to overtake the chocolate because there's a lot more, but don't worry. This is what it will start to look like. You can see our meringue is nice and folded into our chocolate. Now let's do the same thing with our whipped heavy cream. Barb, I don't think you realize how good this is. Why don't you throw that gelatin in the trash, put this meringue and cream in there. You cannot go wrong with this. I literally want to do the backstroke in this bowl of mousse. It is so good. Follow those easy, easy steps. Cream and meringue. You will not be wrong in this. It is awesome. Barbara, thank you so much for writing this in. I really enjoyed eating and I cannot wait to finish it. This is going to be an awesome dessert as we approach the holiday season. You are really going to impress your friends and family with this authentic recipe. Throw that gelatin out of there. For everybody else, I know you got a recipe at home that perhaps maybe something isn't rising, the flavor isn't there, or maybe it's just missing something. Submit me that recipe and I will fix it for you so you can be absolutely, positively happy with your final product. Come back tomorrow, check out our new featured fix of the day.